Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you watched the last vlog, um, you'll know the, about the strange situation that I had with my car. Um, getting the car back tomorrow, so I'm back in Fifi again. Today is actually the day before Andy's birthday. And again, as I mentioned in the previous vlog, I'm gonna to attempt to make him a cake. She says, I'm not the best baker in the world. I just, I don't know. I wish I could be better, but you don't get better without practice, do you? So I don't know why I put the pressure on myself to make this cake when I could probably just buy what, shall I just buy one? Do I just buy one? No, I feel like it will be, it will mean more. Will it mean, actually, will it mean more to him making him a really bad cake when I could have just bought one? Now I'm second guessing myself. No, no, I'm going to try and make this cake, okay? I don't know what, I nearly talked myself out of it then. Um, Andy's favourite cake, although it's not really that much of a traditional birthday type of cake, he loves lemon drizzle. It's his favourite cake of all time. He loves it and he loves it super lemony. Yeah, so that is the plan. I found a recipe. I'm going to use that. It seems like a, actually I don't even want to say that, I was going to say it seems like a pretty dummy, safe, <laughs> I think an idiot could make it, like it, the recipe seems really straightforward, I'm probably really really setting myself up for a really embarrassing fail now, but oh well, I'm going to try, okay, That's, it's the thought that counts, right, if it goes wrong, I'll go out and buy one, but yeah, so I'm about to go to the shops and buy that. A couple of his presents haven't arrived yet, which is annoying. So I'm hoping that they arrive in time, sort of tomorrow. It's still scorching hot, as you can probably tell. I'm in the summer dress, but um, oh gosh, it's getting really hot in this car. So yeah, we've got a lovely weekend um, for his birthday plan. So uh, right now he is actually at golf. So that's why I'm nipping out and trying to make this cake so that he's not around and can't see me doing it. It'll be more of a surprise for him. So that's why I'm doing that now. It's actually um, five o'clock in the evening. So I did want to start this vlog earlier than now, but he's been in the house all day. So it's his actual birthday tomorrow. We're not doing anything major because um, we have like more of a nice weekend plan. So tomorrow is Friday. We are gonna go out for dinner, just me and Andy. We're gonna go out to one of our favorite sushi restaurants. Um, we're gonna go to Uchi. So we're gonna go there, have a really nice dinner. And then Saturday, the plan is we're going to head down. We haven't really got a plan for the day. We need to find something to do. But in the, um, in the afternoon, we're gonna head down to Andy's mum and dad's, take the doggies, gonna have a nice barbecue, just enjoy the nice weather. And then on Sunday, we are heading to Cornbury House um, for the horse trials. You might remember a few vlogs ago, I vlogged going there for the lunch to kind of promote it and yeah, meet the hosts, David and Fiona, and find out more about the trials. So yeah, it's, fantastic weather for it i'm so glad that i am going in this weather as a spectator so that i can just have a nice sip on maybe some champagne or a glass of wine and watch and not have the stress and the pressure of competing myself i really do enjoy watching these events because it's just oh, the pressure's off i can actually just take in the day and enjoy it it's very different when you're at these events, even when there's the, the bigger, more international classes running along alongside, you know, the kind of lower level grassroots. You don't get to appreciate it because you've got the stress of doing it yourself and trying to get your horse ready and stay calm. And yeah, it's it's really hard to actually watch and enjoy the day when you're taking part yourself. So I'm very, very excited to just have a really lovely day so yeah that is my plan for the next couple of days guys so let's head to the shops and get these ingredients i've actually got most of the things i only need like a cup of, what do i actually need i only need some some caster sugar two lemons here goes nothing guys let's go and get the ingredients um so we can start this cake making so desi has just come back from the groomers look how pretty you look I always think her legs look so cute when she comes back. It's like she's walking on little clouds. And you always feel really sassy, don't you, when you come back? She's already had the mad zoomies. 
for half an hour, haven't you? Hmm? And then you'll be shattered now all day. It's very tiring looking so beautiful and going to the hair salon. Look at your little legs. And then Bolly the scruff, it's your turn tomorrow. <laughs> oh, you look scruffy now next to your sister. You do, you look scruffy now. Desi looks so prim and proper next to you. Give me a paw if you feel good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, I am back. I've got all of my ingredients for my lemon drizzle. Oh, let's just shut this blind. There we go. Don't want the neighbour to see my embarrassment attempt at, um, at baking. It's a Mary Berry recipe that I'm using. It looks really straightforward, to be honest. Um, I don't think too much can go wrong here, she says. Well, it's Mary Berry's recipe, so if it all goes wrong, well, we all blame Mary. So, Mary, this better work, darling, or I'm not gonna be happy. Okay, right, I need to measure out my ingredients. So it's 225 grams of softened butter, 225 grams of caster sugar, 275 grams of self-raising flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, four large eggs, four tablespoons of milk, and finely grated rind of two lemons. And that makes up your base cake. These are medium eggs, are these gonna be big enough? We've got some big eggs here. Okay, this seems simple enough. I'm going to start and just um, see what happens. Where are my weighing scales? Oh no, I've fallen at the first hurdle. I can't find... Oh, they're here. Buried because it's been so long since I actually used them. We wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. started to get dark but that is my loaf ready to go in the oven moment of truth well actually this isn't the moment of truth last time I did a banana bread um yeah I dropped it getting it out the oven and it literally squished on the floor right there but that's not going to happen this time this one's going to be a success so I'm going to stick stick my little lemon loaf in the oven and yeah fingers crossed getting it out isn't such of a traumatic ordeal as last time. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot to do the best taste test there is. I forgot to taste the mixture before putting it in. Right, let's try a little bit of this. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that's really good. Oh, that is really nice. If anything, I'd want it to be more lemony. Should I have maybe got the rind of three lemons? The recipe only said two. Hmm, I don't know. Hopefully when I do the icing, it will all, all come together and be even more lemony. You'll all be pleased to know I managed to get my lemon loaf out of the oven without dropping it this time. So we're already one step better than the last time I baked. So I'm just about to make the drizzle. I'm gonna pop that on and then yeah, that'll be good to eat tomorrow, I think. Good morning guys. I have just finished getting ready Ooh, for the day. Oh, hair. Why is it when I go to speak on camera, hair just makes its way into my mouth. Yeah, just finishing getting ready for the day. 
Today is actually Andrew's birthday. Yeah, unfortunately, we're both <laughs> both work, doing a little bit of work this morning and then um, we're going out a little bit later for a nice meal. I'm trying to get through my work as quick as possible this morning. I thought I'd quickly show you a new lip combo. Oh, before I jump into that, sorry, absolute scatterbrain this morning. Um, one thing I have got Andy for his birthday and really need your guys' recommendations for. So we're going to Vienna at the end of November because the plan is to, well, the idea is to go when all of the Christmas markets open there because I've seen they have some absolutely stunning Christmas markets and I think the whole place is just so magical at Christmas time. It's been a place that we have both spoken about going to before, but I we've both never been, so i need you guys any of you guys that have ever been to vienna maybe some of you live in vienna or near vienna that can give me restaurant recommendations i want to try and have a good kind of itinerary before i go i hate going somewhere new and not knowing anything i like to have at least a list if not places already booked at least a list of places to try so if any of you guys have any really good restaurant recommendations or things that we absolutely have to see or do while we're there obviously it's going to be end of november christmas time if there's any christmasy activities or things we have to go go and look at then let me know i would appreciate any guidance at all um because i'd much rather go somewhere off the back of a recommendation so yeah put them in the um in the comments he obviously will know already know about it when this video goes live so no surprises are getting spoiled there so yeah that would really be handy but i thought while um just before i start filming i've actually got um a haul to do with you so i thought before i jump into that i thought i'd quickly show you a new lip combination that i have been loving because us girlies and guys that wear makeup we it's one of life's little pleasures. I get really happy when I find a really good new lip combination, when I find a banging lip liner with a banging lipstick, and then I don't stop wearing it for months on end until that is inevitably replaced by a new one. And I've been wearing this a lot recently, and I'm kind of gutted I didn't start doing this at the beginning of spring, summer, because it's probably more of a summery one, but oh well. Lip liner, I'm wearing it now. If I come a little bit closer. This is the lip combo, as you can see, just a nice kind of peachy nude colour. So, the lip liner. Hello, I'm doing the old school YouTuber thing. Come on, this should work. Go, is that focused? I don't know. Anyway, it's Morphe Coffee and Kissy. That's what the lip liner's called. Morphe lip liners, in my opinion, are so underrated. I don't hear many people actually talking about them. And they're so creamy but so long lasting. I love them. I'll do a little swatchy swatch like a makeup girl on the back of my hand. So this is how it looks on me. Wow, my camera does not wanna focus. I need to hide. There we go. As you can see, it kind of reminds me, if you, um, if you guys really like MAC strip down lip liner, I know that's quite an OG, a lot of people tend to like that one. I love it. Then I think you'll love this. This is less brown and more peachy. I really like this. Um, the swatch actually looks so much darker, I think, than it does on my lip. Mm, or maybe not. I don't like anything too brown and too dark on me, but I do like it to have a punch. I do like it to, you know, I do like my, line, my lines, my lips to be lined. Lipstick, oh, it's here round for it is this one it's actually it's cheap as chips it's from beauty bay so beauty bay actually sent me a parcel gosh this was a few months ago now um with a few of their lipsticks and i will admit i don't think i'd ever tried this in there but i was just rooting through my makeup drawer just looking at what nudes i could use because i was just getting bored of my um peach stock from MAC and it has been discontinued so I've been trying to find a little bit of a replacement for that and it's this from Beauty Bay it's in the shade T is that the right way around there we go in the shade T I'll just swatch it next to the lip liner 
just so you can see but it's a beautiful pinky peach color it's not too pink but these colors together they just go oh they just go so lovely i really wish i'd found this at the beginning of spring summer but there we go new lip combo if you're ever wondering what is on my lips for the foreseeable it's going to be this unless i say unless i say otherwise anyway i have got a really um nice little box of goodies to um, unbox and try on with you so i can confirm the lemon drizzle cake was in fact a success so I ended up doing the icing um, later on in the evening. I didn't actually film that because um, it got so dark outside, but the icing was essentially just sugar and lemon juice squeezed from two lemons. And it turned out so great. It was double the size of this, guys. I will admit a lot of this has been eaten, but <laughs> I'm so pleased with it. I can confirm it tastes incredible as well. I'm so pleased. Definitely redeemed myself from the last time I tried to bake. So yeah, I felt like this was definitely the, maybe the confidence boost that, um, that I needed. But yeah, it's super light and fluffy, really zingy and lemony. So Andrew really, really likes it. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I shall be baking again in future. Now I've got a little bit of my mojo back. But yeah, I just wanted to show you it because super proud of myself and I know so many of you will be watching and being like Alex it's a lemon drizzle cake it's not hard but do you know what some of us aren't natural bakers and I'm one of those people so I'm giving myself a pat on the back for this one mm. so this morning it was Bolly's turn for his hairdresser's appointment look how good you look Bol Look at our smart poppers. You're gonna feel so much better now in this heat wave. Oh, it was good timing, wasn't it? Oh, so much better without all this fluff on your back. Huh? Sit down then, let's show everyone. Sit down. Wow, have you got fluffy legs like Desi? Look at these two. Have you ever seen two cuter spaniels? I don't think so. I think that's mine. <laughs> I think that's mine. Ready, we're gonna catch. Oh, good catch. Okay, so I've done um, an order from Forever New. Uh, you guys might remember, I went to their event a few a few months ago now. Um, the dress that I'm wearing now is actually from Forever New. I have honestly never ever been asked so many times where a dress is from than when I have wore, you know, been wearing this one definitely my most worn dress this year it's so easy to throw on it's linen i love the fact that it's black so it, it doesn't mean that it needs washing after every single wear if i wear it for just a couple of hours for a barbecue or a dinner i can wear it again it doesn't need to be washed but yeah very very practical i really like the side cut out details but anyway this isn't for the dress but i just wanted to show you that um this was kind of my first um experience of forever new and yeah really really love their stuff so they've obviously switched over now and they've brought a lot of autumn winter stuff um to their website and because i was so happy with the quality and everything um of this i thought i would yeah do a little order so i'm going to unbox it with you now there are i've had a little rummage through already there are some amazing pieces in here for autumn so if you are looking at starting your autumn wardrobe i know it's warm at the minute but if you are you know you're in the market then i think you're going to like this so first up we have i will try all of these on for you by the way but we have this beautiful long cream knitted dress. Now I love a knitted dress in the autumn winter. There is nothing better than wearing a nice knitted dress, a long wool coat, some knee high boots. Oh, just gorgeous. I'm gonna pop this on to show you um, what it looks like, but it does need a bit of a steam just where it's been folded up. Um, I'm not gonna bother steaming everything because I'll be here all day, so just just look past the odd crease here and there, but 
I'm going to put this on for you now. Quick intermission to eat my yoghurt and granola. Okay, so cream dress on. I, I just love this. The fit of this is so lovely. I also really like the sleeve length. Sometimes with knitted dresses, because I am quite... Um, I've got quite long arms and long legs, and I've got a short torso, um, which on paper you'd say, oh, that's great, but honestly, sometimes it's a complete nightmare with sleeve lengths and trouser lengths, um, but this is just gorgeous. I love the fit around the waist. I'm not usually the biggest... Um, I don't really like bodycon usually on me. However, this, I feel, is just really really quite flattering i've paired it with my um tan boots let's move this chair out of the way excuse me but yeah i've paired it with my tan boots um these were from zara i think i got them at the end of last year but um yeah there is a similar pair that i have seen um online this is just this is great and if you um wanted to replace the belt you can take this off i think i'd be quite tempted to wear perhaps a little tan belt, although this one does look quite nice. Um, yeah, but I like that you've got the option to switch up the belt, but yeah, this is a definite, definite yes from me. I am very, very happy with, ooh, bum doesn't look too bad in it either. Okay, next up, ooh, wow, okay, I think you're going to really like this. I think I'm gonna like this one. This is something that I feel like it just elevates every single outfit in the autumn winter. So I just could not resist this one. It looks so smart on the website. It's their wool camel coat and I just love the way it fastens up. See that button here across the top? I just think that looks so smart. It does have um, a belt with it as well so if I just pop this on really quick this is the coat on just ignore it has got a little label there just on the outside of it which I will obviously take off we just do this up I've buttoned it up I wouldn't usually um, wear this done up over the top of the, the dress because I feel like the hem the different hemlines finishing at different places just looks a bit odd but um, this is lovely oh it's got no has it got pockets do I have to maybe open them myself? Oh, I think it might have pockets. I think it might be one of those. Ah, yeah, I think it does. It's one of those ones where you have to um, undo the stitching yourself, I think. Um, I'll just need to iron that belt as well. But that is just... I think that is lovely. It's got really nice shoulders on it. I mean, you could obviously do it up if you wanted to go for that look. I probably won't, to be honest, but... I think that is really nice and smart. I love the belt on it. Yeah, really happy with that. I just need to steam. Just the belt needs a little bit of a steam. Just been creased, but I think that is lovely. Yes, really, really happy with that. Next up is this beautiful black cardigan. I've been really, really loving seeing all of these in the shops recently, but for me, this one that I saw from Forever New, it just, yeah. I feel like this is my favourite one I've seen. I love the gold buttons on it. It's also got some structure to the shoulders. Um, it'd be hard to kind of show you, but yeah, it's not completely flimsy, the shoulder. It does have some structure, which I really like. I feel like it just adds that little bit of um, edge rather than just having, you know, a floppy cardigan on. Yeah, I love this. It's got two pockets at the front. This looks gorgeous i will obviously link all of this in the description box and i'll pop in the description box what size i am wearing in everything but yeah that is gorgeous i also picked up these black tailored um i think you'd class these as cigarette trousers they will finish on the probably just above the ankle um i just wanted a pair of black trousers that um weren't wide leg and to the floor because the only trousers i have are are that i wanted some just that felt a little bit more tailored um, and didn't quite finish you know sweeping the floor so i went for these ones they've got the same gold button detail on them i'm really hoping the fit of these is going to be nice but yeah i think i'm going to try these on with the cardigan together to show you how they fit so these are those two pieces on together the cardigan i absolutely love again the sleeve length 
lovely. I really, really love the structure on the shoulders. It just adds just adds something to it. I have um, just tucked the front of it into the trousers just so that you can obviously see the trousers, but you wouldn't have to do that. You could obviously leave it out. It's got the little pockets at the front. I really like the gold button detail. And then the trousers, they are such a nice fit, especially around the waist. In terms of the length of the trousers, if I was being really, really picky, I'd probably say I'd prefer them to have maybe like an inch or two slightly longer in length, although I did want them to be shorter to, you know, show off the ankle. But as I mentioned earlier, I do have very long arms and long legs. So that is usually an issue for me, but it's not so much of an issue where I'll be returning these because I know I will still 100% wear them. I've just popped on my loafers from Zara because as I was putting this outfit together, I, I felt that it was kind of um, very much a workwear kind of outfit. This is definitely the kind of thing I would be wearing if I was to work in an office. Um, it's just, it's the perfect amount of being, you know, smart, but also very comfortable. So yeah. Otherwise, this cardigan will just as well go really nicely with some jeans um, and some boots. So yeah, very, very pleased, especially with, with this cardigan. I feel like this is going to be a proper staple for this season. I also just picked up this high neck um, sleeveless knit top just as just as another basic option in my wardrobe um i do kind of like to move past the kind of cottons and things like that when it goes into really like the really colder months um yeah i just like to mix it up sometimes and have my knitted tops as nice options i really like this i really like the neck on it um so yeah decided to grab that one they do do this in other colors and then another pair of trousers to show you I just couldn't resist these. So, I'm not sure what the material is of these, how you describe them. Oh, recycled polyester. This garment contains recycled polyester, which reuses existing plastic material. This reduces reliance on virgin materials. Okay, that's what they're made out of. I thought these would be a great option um, for when I want to wear something, you know, I want to just have something different to wear rather than jeans. So they're a black trouser, like camel, camel coloured nudie stripes down the bottom. Um, they're full length, they've got a little tie detail here. I thought these would also look really, really lovely with the camel coat that I showed you at the beginning. Um, but yeah, I'll pop these on together now and quickly show you. This is the outfit on, so I've got, oh hello, I've got two puppies joining me. Yay! Hello, darling. Hello, darling. Have you come in for the try-on haul? Have you come in? Yes. Good boy. The camera's there. <laughs> Desi's here as well. Anyway, trousers. Um, I really love these. These are a lovely length, actually. They're not too short, not too long. They're not touching the floor. Really good alternative, I think, um, to jeans and elasticated waist, tied at the front, so super comfortable. Um, and then the knitted top, I mean, it is what it is. It fits really nice. Yeah, just, oh, you tired, sweetheart. But yeah, this would definitely be, I think you could definitely get away with this for work as well, depending on obviously how strict um, your work is. But even maybe for more of a Friday look, if you do more of a dress down look, at work I feel like these trousers would be just perfect I can already feel that I'm going to be reaching for these a lot another knit top I picked up was this one in this gorgeous cream colour again just another great basic and staple for this time of year I really like the detail on the sleeves here it's got the really cute little gold buttons down the sleeve I just like that little bit of added detail i'm going to quickly pop this on with these trousers because i feel like these these may look quite nice together and then this is the knitted top on again great sleeve length really lovely like ribbed detail just a great basic nothing more to say about this to be honest guys i do have one more um item to show you so i'll just quickly grab grab this one Feel like you're gonna like this it's this black mini dress how cute is this 
I love the detail at the front, the little pockets with the gold buttons. I feel like this would look really, really lovely with tights and boots. I'm not going to put tights on. I want to see how it looks sort of like bare legged, but I'm going to quickly pop this on now. Sorry, but how cute is this dress? I've just popped the tan boots on with it because I just love black and tan together in the autumn. This is super, super cute. It's kind of, I don't know what vibe it's giving me. It's reminding me of someone. Is it Gossip Girl vibes? I don't know, but I am obsessed. These aren't um, real pockets, by the way. They're just, just for show, but how sweet is this? As I mentioned, I think this would look great with tights and you could wear this with um, loafers or ballet flats or slingbacks or maybe some shorter Chelsea boots. For me personally, this is the kind of look that I just love. Um, I'll probably pop some tights on as we get into the colder months, but how cute is this? The length of it is lovely. It's got a little bit of structure on the shoulders. I love how it kind of nips in at the waist. It's almost slightly A-lined down there at the skirt. Yeah, super flattering. Really, really love this. I am really, really pleased with all of my picks from Forever New. They've just, they've just nailed it. I loved their summer dresses, but I think I might love their autumn winter stuff even more. Um, let me know what you guys liked. Um, let me know if you've tried any of their, um, their stuff before because I am officially obsessed. Okay, I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit before we head out for dinner. Um, we're going to one of our favourite sushi restaurants. So yeah, and the weather is absolutely gorgeous. I'm kind of hoping we can maybe get a table outside, but this is my outfit. I've gone for a two-piece um, waistcoat and trouser set. It's from um, Kukai. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll link it in the description box, but it's so so lovely i love these kind of sets or any kind of cohort for when i just don't know what to wear um, it's kind of like a jumpsuit or play suit it's just easy throw it on and you're good to go i'm wearing it with my fendi bag and yeah that's me ready to go but i'm gonna quickly go and jump in the car because as always i am well i have officially been the worst vlogger over the last couple of days but in my defense it's been andy's birthday and we've kind of had just a little bit of switch off time i have i genuinely haven't even thought to pick up the camera i've not done anything that interesting really yesterday um well last night we went out for some sushi i will have popped some clips in this vlog anyway um so we went out for some sushi which was really nice and then today um today was just a bit of a normal day i got up early went and rode flicker andy went to the gym we've kind of done a couple of bits around the house and now we are obviously in the car doggies are in the oh there's mrs toots Hello Mrs Toots, little Desi in the back there. Um, we're on our way down now to Andy's mum and dad's to see them for his birthday. The temperature is literally, what I mean, what is it saying on that car? 32. 30, 32 degrees, it's an absolute scorcher this weekend. And I am pretty thrilled about it to be honest because we're about to go and have a barbecue that we haven't had to cook or do ourselves. <laughs> so I'm having a lovely dinner at Andy's mum and dad's probably have a sit, a nice glass of wine. And then tomorrow we are heading to Cornbury House for a lovely day there in the sunshine. So I don't mind a heat wave when I've got nice things to do in it. Um, riding was a bit brutal this morning. I tried to beat the heat, I went out at about eight o'clock, but even at eight o'clock, it was well in the twenties. It was a hot one. So we just had a bit of a plod, to be honest. It wasn't very, um, wasn't the most productive of riding sessions because none of us could be bothered in that heat 
but yeah at the minute i'll say it's 32 degrees the car is currently freezing because we've had the aircon on the whole way down for us and the dogs so i feel like when i get out of this car it's going to be like that moment when you get off the plane you know when you go on holiday and the heat just hits you when you walk off the plane that's what i feel like it's going to be like when we get out of this car i was going to say obviously andy's birthday am i allowed to tell him how old you are Hit the big 4-0, haven't we? <laughs> he's not, he's 31. <laughs> it's because he doesn't want to speak. 30. No, 31. He didn't want to speak on camera, so I said, well, if you don't speak, I'm going to tell them all you've turned 40. <laughs> so, 31. Thriving, surviving, feeling better, feeling good or? Feeling good. Feeling good? It's feeling good. So, yeah, guys, it's just a bit of a chilled weekend. I will, oh, gosh, sorry about this sun. There we go. I will obviously try and vlog as much as I can, but also, you know, it's family time as well. We're trying to have a little bit of downtime, so I'll vlog. I'll vlog what I vlog. You'll get what you get this weekend. <laughs> She put her mind to Late night hours up the hill Serving coffee to strangers Talking about revenue She kept dreaming of a world Big enough for everyone but she knew it My favourite kind of bolly Is when he's a sprudel bum And his legs are flat on the floor Are you waiting for barbecue? My little toots Always here aren't you? here with mommy yeah you're always here aren't you darling i'm getting harassed by a silly puppy with very long ears to play ball with him desi's just patiently waiting for the barbecue buffet to open <laughs> are you waiting <laughs> wow look at this we've got prawns steak burgers sausages Ooh. Well, I'll just, I'll just no, no i'm good with that Good morning guys, it is the next day and we have all just got ready, we are heading to Cornbury House, we are literally about to leave, I'm having the worst hair day ever, I don't know why my hair is not playing ball today but I don't know, I think maybe because it served me well last weekend, it's now well and truly sticking a finger up to me this weekend, <laughs> you know one of those hair days where everything you do is just yeah it's not it's really not playing ball today but oh well so we are about to head off i will show you my outfit so we're heading to cornbury horse trials my first time going there they they're a fairly new event they've only been running since 2020 um so yeah i'm not really sure what to expect i know um the hospitality um from what i've seen on instagram looks amazing so yeah it's not going to be quite like burly vibes we're not really needing like the walking boots or anything like that um the way the hospitality is set up it's right by the show jumping ring so yeah hopefully not that much walking about really at this event which will be a nice change but anyway before we set off i will show you my outfit so just about to leave thought i'd show you my outfit as the weather is supposed to be lovely today I am just wearing this white sleeveless dress from Cara Millen um, and then I have just popped on my Castanier nude wedges with it. I love these because they kind of still keep the outfit fairly dressy-ish but they're so, so comfortable to wear and walk around in. I literally feel like I'm wearing, do you remember those PE pumps that you'd wear at school? That's literally what they feel like. And then I've actually just got this little bag which was from New Look, you might remember this from the Mykonos trip, but I just thought it kind of matches and goes with the whole vibe really nicely. Only thing I'm a little bit annoyed about is I'm not a big fan of the belt that came with the dress. It kind of gives the dress like karate, jujitsu vibes. I did actually order a brown silk scarf from Holland Cooper, but unfortunately I missed the delivery for it because we had to leave before it had a chance to be delivered. So I would have preferred it with that, but so I'm going with the belt that it came with. So yeah. This is my outfit for Cornbury, so we're going to head off now. So we've just arrived at Cornbury House. 
show jumping's taking place. We're heading over to the pelican in the field tent over there. So we've just popped into the tent. Look how beautiful the tables are all set up. It's so nice in here. You've got all these equestrian paintings back there. You've got the lovely bar here. And you've got some food over there. It looks incredible. So we've just sat down in the tent. I've just grabbed some food. This looks absolutely delicious. And I've been told everything here, the meat, the veg, it's all um, produced here at Cornbury, which is amazing. It's such a lovely setup in here. Honestly, it feels like we're at a wedding. We've got the screens over here where we can watch the cross country if you can't be bothered to go down. So yeah, I've got my glass of champagne. We've got all the girlies on the table. Say hi, girls. Hello. 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 So yeah, we're just going to sit right here, water. watch a little bit of the show so jumping. Andy, you going to go and get some plate food? I will. Yeah, you're going to go and do your plate? That's my contribution. <laughs> <laughs> contribution. <laughs> Here they are doing their lap of honour. These horses will be getting extra carrots tonight, I'm sure. I like the reg. Oh, look at that. Debor. We're Debor. getting in Debor. 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 I think we might think be we heading into the oh, new we're not, one. Oh, we're not getting in Debor. And welcome back to this week's episode of Carpool Karaoke. <laughs> what song are we singing? <laughs> We've got a full car here, girls. OK, what can everybody rap to? Right, Ooh, I can do I Knock can You Down, Kanye West. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, you, you need to do, do that. Like a freestyle rap. <laughs> no, yeah, you can rap and I can beatbox. I'm gonna do a bit of opera. Come on, you gotta do beatbox. Ready? We're here at Cornbury for the house trials, and it's really, really hot, and it hasn't been in a while. Oh my god! Perfect. Brilliant. For the prize giving of the junior two-star class section cube, please make your way along there. Thank you. 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 We've got this incredible sort of marquee set up so that everyone can sit in the shade. And we have this beautiful little melee bar. I have um, got myself a lovely glass of Whispering Angel. So yeah, we're going to sit in the sunshine, watch a few of the ponies jump through. But yeah, what a great setup! I can't tell you how amazing it is to have this kind of these kind of facilities at an event like this. It's just they have really, really exceeded themselves. Oh, we've got another one. Here we go. Go on. Here we go. Whoop. Through the second water. Oh, good pony. Oh gosh. Actually, someone said the up the word fur lady the other day, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's a blast from the past, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Scarlet, Scarlet's been watching me like. <laughs> What you see for the word? <laughs> what word's going to come out of this one? I was like, what am I going to say? <laughs> we'll leave it there. The record's been on we'll for like 10 minutes now. We'll leave it there, that's all I had to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you later, guys. Just come down to have a look at some of the lovely stalls they've got here at Cornbury House. They've got lots of local brands here. Oh, Derrier, I love their stuff. They've got lots of lovely bits. I saw an Ariat stall back up there. They've got a Diddly Squat stall. Oh, that looks so nice. Yeah, that's so nice. I love the details on the sleeves. Isn't it? It is officially the end of the day. We have lasted until we are the we are the stragglers. We are leaving at the very end of the event. Oh, look at the boys! Oh, it's Inception. It's a double vlog. It's a double vlogger. The boys. Oh God, it's a triple vlog. It's now a triple vlog. We're all ready. To go home now. It's been such a wonderful day. Right, we need to say bye to everyone. Goodbye. <gasps> Hello, puppy dogs. Hello, darlings. Have you been good? Oh, have you been good, darling? And then, just like that, we are back home. Completely exposing myself here. I don't know what the equivalent is of like a crazy cat lady that wears like crazy cat pajamas. Um, but whatever the equivalent of that is for a horse person, that is me because I don't know if you can see up close, but 
These are actually my eventing pyjamas. <laughs> I actually got these while we were at Burley because I've never seen anything like this before and thought they were so sweet. So they've actually got a little cross country um, jumps on, show jumping, dressage. Yes, I know I am officially a saddo. But yeah, had the most lovely day. So nice to catch up with the girls. And honestly, the hospitality at Cornbury House is just like no other. I'm already looking forward to going back next year. I think it's going to be even bigger and better. But I'm going to stop completely exposing myself in my pony pyjamas. <laughs> and I'm going to take my makeup off, get into bed and watch a bit of Netflix. And yeah, I will probably pick up this vlog again tomorrow.